Today's fact video is a little different. I'll be sharing everything I know about an NPC simply called Blob. The Blob NPC was featured in a sort of interactive tech demo at an event called Valve Hardware Day in 2006. This tech demo showed off some particle effects, The more popular NPC Surface, whose visual code would later be used for the gel in Portal 2. And NPC Blob, which appears more as a swarm of insects. In the demo we can see NPC Blob climbing over obstacles avoiding hazards, forming into a coherent shape, and attacking an enemy. And that's it. That's all the official content for this NPC. But what we weren't supposed to see is actually more interesting. Every Source Engine game comes with at least one text file that has information about every object in the game. This file is used by the level editor to show level designers what they can place in a map. One of the most common things to place in a level are nodes, little markers that tell NPCs about the world around them. Nodes are how an NPC knows how to get somewhere. They can also give NPCs additional context about a level. For example, where to hide from a sniper. In the game data files for Alien Swarm and CSGO, the node object has context options related to the blob. These options imply that the blob originally would have been able to shake, spit, regenerate, and have a brain. These options also have the word EP3 before them. I know people always make weird speculations about this stuff, but I don't know how you can draw a conclusion from this, which isn't that the blob was going to be in Half-Life 2 Episode 3. We know all that, but there's still a lot to say about the blob's appearance and behavior. What the blob appears as is a group of models, but I think if it was finished, it would look more like NPC Surface. Using the gel in Portal 2, I made what I think it would look like. The actual appearance of the blob is controlled by a console variable. I've changed it in some of my footage, so sometimes the blob will look different. I won't show any footage from episode 1 or 2 because this NPC actually isn't in them. Which is weird, because with basically every other thing, if it's in Half-Life 2, it's in the episodes. The blob is classified as a player ally, so it attacks wildlife and combine NPCs. The blob attacks enemies by surrounding them and then, I guess, consuming them. Combine soldiers are especially programmed to take 3 seconds to die. Most other enemies die extremely fast because the blob deals 5 points of damage every 0.025 seconds. Try as they might, enemies can't actually hurt the blob, and even if they could, it has over 2 billion health. I have no idea what these antlions are doing. Using console commands we can see what happens when a blob does die. The only things that can survive a blob attack are things that can't actually be hurt by most things, such as ruler mines. 
Blobs do have one weakness, indoor spaces. Blobs can climb over walls, but give them a ceiling or a tight corridor and they go completely haywire. Blobs also don't really understand when part of them is stuck. When parts of a blob get separated, it can't accurately judge where its center is. When this center point is wrong, the NPC doesn't know when it's actually at an enemy, so it may never begin to attack it. That was another episode of Half-Life 2 Facts. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, then FUCK YOU! If you want to see more fact videos, check out this video where I make NPCs think they're other NPCs. Woo! Thanks to everyone who supported my channel up until this point. I'll probably have another 25 fact videos ready to go by the time this one comes out.